I used to be a dispatcher. I used to be a dispatcher once. Emergency services dispatcher. Give me a green check mark if you could hear me. Come back from the video if you were watching it in your own browser. Uh, that's not necessarily true, Dustin. It just means that, um, yeah, well, so. So, um, yeah, I, I'm just continuing to um, I'm in continuing to just encourage you to, oh, hi. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. It's encouraging you to make sure that you're not educating yourself or training yourself into a career that is going to disappear in the next 20 years. So um, I encourage you all to watch that video in its entirety. Um, we only uh, watch just a couple minutes of, I think it's 17 minutes long. And it's all about, it's all about the 15 jobs that will disappear in the next 20 years. So, um, and I've heard that from other sources. That was an Oxford study. I heard a podcast talking about, in particular, the drivers one. So, drivers is the single most, um, it's the single biggest job for men in America. There's more men are drivers than any other job. And that that that, that is going to disappear in the next 20 years. So that means that, um, like I used to be a driver for a production company. I used to be what's called a runner. And actually my job is pretty much um, eliminated by um, high speed internet and email. I used to drive around like, CDs and DVDs to different um, places around Los Angeles, um, and and that was before you could either set up like a Dropbox or having different kinds of Google Docs and things like that. We didn't have that yet. This was back in the 90s, late 90s, and so nowadays all that stuff just gets shared shared on the web, and so that job is eliminated. But um, you know all these trucks you see on the highways and all that, they're all going to be um, replaced with self-driving vehicles in the next 20 years. So that's just one example. Okay, so this was an activity for you to check your vocabulary skills on these topics. Um, so make sure that you know these topics, those vocabulary words rather. Um, this session is being recorded. We're talking about business models today. So here we have the, the old school, you ever heard mom and pop business? There it is, mom and pop. There they are in their business. They got their store there. We got e-commerce and then here's the picture from one of the Google campuses. And another thing I strongly recommend you do is check out, just do a search on the web for Google Google campus images, and it's just so mind-boggling to see um, these campuses, these buildings that Google has built around the world and the workspaces they provide for their employees. All right, fantastic. So, Audemars has been accepted to Channel Islands University. And CSU, CSU Chico, and that's an online program, right? That you're doing. It's oh yeah. Let's do a round of applause. Online CSU, and I grew up like 10 miles from there. I was just down there recently, like really close to that campus. Applause, round of applause, people. Okay. Yay, so exciting. Awesome. All right, so I need someone to read the agenda. Uh, Adamari, you're so excited. Would you like to read the agenda? Oh, Josh is so quick. Let's see if 
We want to share airtime a little bit, Josh. So let's see if Adamari wants to do it. All right, Josh, take it away. We'll give her another chance later. You should have privileges. You should be good to go. Or didn't I? Yeah, you should be good to go, Josh. Agenda. Warm up in the year. Consolidation. Good. And pending doom reminder. 2.10 different types of business. 2.11 business, business models. Okay, uh, thank you. So, um, and just remember, Adamari and everyone else in the class, that um, participation in class is required. Make sure that you're ready to uh, be speaking on the microphone and uh, hopefully on the video as well. I'm going to give you a chance to do video today in your breakout rooms. So the Common Core standard that we're covering right now, uh, we're continuing with this writing standard, um, draw evidence. I like to use my computer voice when I say this. Draw evidence from informational text to support analysis, reflection, and research. So what does that mean? We take, we read stuff, and then we analyze, reflect, and research it. OK. so. Um, yeah, just remember that next week we got the Unit 2 test. I've noticed some people procrastinating in the grade book. I've noticed that. Um, so a week from today is the Unit 2 test, and the end of the quarter is coming at the end of February. So um, just a little more than a month away. Don't forget that procrastination has consequences. All right, so now I need someone to read the goals for the lesson. If I could get another reader, please, or I'll pick somebody. Justin. Thank you for chatting. Will you read that, please? Because I need someone else to read. Sure, why not? Understand information business, media trend. Define different types of businesses. Explain the advantages and disadvantages of different types of businesses. Fantastico. Thank you. So that's what we're doing today. I mean, that's the goals for today. That and our writing standard, right? We got so many goals and agendas and things. Now, this is review from previous lessons that you should have already read about. Um, this topic of media con conglomerates, media consolidation, and I just want to draw your attention to this because it's something that you want to be aware of when you're getting your news from uh, wherever you get your news that um, th there's been a tremendous consolidation, and that means that there's just very few companies that um, pr produce the, that own the news outlets of the media outlets in general, but I'm mostly talking about news right now. So back in 1983, when I finished middle school, before I went to, when I finished ninth grade and was about to go to 10th grade in high school, there were 50 media companies, okay, that had that did newspapers, magazines, TV, and radio, etc. But those primarily those. Now, well, in 2004 there were just five, and now there's like six, okay. So, but that's not a trend up. It's just, it's just this tremendous consolidation. Okay. So here, here are the companies that own um, like 99% of the media, and you might have heard of some of these. So, um, General Electric owns Comcast, NBC. Um, News Corp, uh, an Australian company, owns Fox News, Wall Street Journal, New York Post. Disney has ABC. Viacom has um, MTV, Time Warner, CNN, and CBS has Showtime, Smithsonian Channel, NFL.com, Jeopardy, and 60 Minutes. Now, um, 
so you just want to realize that you know these are big corporations that aren't necessarily um, so concerned about the welfare of the average person, and so you want to you know you want to be skeptical of their coverage. You want to um, you may want to consider getting news from a variety of sources and companies that are not these, um, so you could uh, you know have unbiased news uh, on what's happening in the world. Okay. Podcasts are a great way to get a variety of, you know, like a podcast could just be a person, just one person that did some research. So they're not going to be influenced in the same way. Any questions about that or concerns? If you have any questions, please put it in the chat. I'm going to keep going, but I will be monitoring the chat. I'm just trying to keep moving here so we can get to our um, breakout room activity. Okay. Where's my water? I left my water in the other room. Can you believe that? Okay. So these are the three types of businesses that we're going to look at today. Um, sole proprietorship, partnership, and corporations. Sure. And. Um, and so that is that. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at these slides here quickly, and then I'm going to be copying them into the breakout room. So um, I'm just going to give an example of a pro and con for each type, and then you're going to need to read it. What was that standard we said? Gather information. Uh, gather. Draw evidence from informational text. So this is our informational text. Okay, this is our informational text that we're gathering information from. Okay, so pros are the positives, right, and cons are the negatives. So, um, so a pro, uh, a, a, a single person business, sole proprietorship. It's not a fish. It's a, just an individual person, like solo. Um, they receive all the profits from the business. So that's the positive, right? They get all the profits. So, but one of the negatives is they have all the risk, all the financial risk of that business. Does that make sense? Can I get a red X if that makes sense? Everybody red X right now. I'm going to check your activity too. I've got an inactive room set up. If you do not give me a red X in the next 10 seconds, I'm going to have to remove you to the inactive room. So please, Red X, if you understand what we're talking about here, sole proprietorship, and the owner is completely in charge of the operations of the business. Okay, next one. Can I get someone to do the same thing I just did on that last one? Just read one pro and read what the business description is in the green there, and then do a, the pro and the con, just one of each. Um, just Josh, anybody else besides Josh? Let's have Gabriel do it. Thanks, Josh, but um, you know, I'm trying to mix it up a little bit here. A pro is that it's easy to establish, and a con is that partners are both responsible for all debts. Excellent. Can you keep going with some more of those? Because I'm, uh, I'm still moving people out. It would be really helpful. Another pro is that it's easier to raise money, and another con is that partners need to work together, which I assume Excellent. means. Excellent. So yeah, it's like you want to make sure you like that person, right? Um, excellent work, Gabriel. Thank you. Um, so you can definitely email me for your participation credit on that. You can also wait if you want to wait and do a couple of days and then email me. Um, Oh, look at all those people that want to come back in. So let's go to the next slide and let's have the next person read that, was, that had their hand up and do this. Just um, read that. Just be the teacher for a second, please. So, and just everyone, I ask to give a red check. So if you just got moved back to the main room, you need to give a red check to stay. 
Okay, go ahead, reader. Who's going to be the reader? Okay, Josh, go for it. Corporations is a business that is an illegal enti entity on its own in which stockholders and the board uh, and the board of directors are in control. Well, what is a stockholder? A stockholder is an individual or institution that legally owns one or more shares of stock in a public or private corporation. That's so weird. How were you able to know that? That was like you were reading the slide we weren't on yet. That was so mysterious to me. I don't understand what's happening here. But that's okay. Thank you for reading that. Um, so I still need a red X from you, Priscilla, Catherine. And let me just add, if you can keep going with this next part. Uh, was that Josh or would someone else want to get some of their participation points? So if you get your participation points by reading like this, that's the easy way. Otherwise, you're going to have to do a presentation. I mean, you may still need to do this, but um, if you get them piece by piece, like Josh gets a little bit each day, then he doesn't have to do a long presentation unless he wants to. Thank you, Lexi. Go for it. Are there any benefits to being a stockholder? Yes, please continue. Can you finish uh, finish that section I just added there, por favor? Yeah. Um, if the company makes a profit, it has to pay the stockholder dividends, a portion of a company's profit. Only some companies pay dividends, more established um, ones. Yeah, so whoever made this slide originally said, um, if a company makes a profit, it has to pay the stockholder dividends. That's not true all the time. So more larger, more established companies that issue stock as a public offering pay dividends. Um, that's the kind of that's the kind of stocks that I buy. Um, 99% of my investments in stocks are in that in that kind of stock. I mean, stocks in general are very risky investments, and we'll cover that more in Unit Four. But um, that's a little bit about that. Now, we're uh, we're running out of time here, so I want to. Well, we got ten minutes left, so I want to. Now that you understand about these businesses, um, you're going to answer the question here, which is, or you're going to discuss in your breakout room. That's the goal here. What type of business would you like to work for or start? So, would you like to work for a corporation like Google or Apple or something like that? Um, Starbucks. Um, w would you like to start a sole proprietorship, a uh, pool cleaning business or something like that, um, you know, landscaping business, these kinds of things. And then you're going to say, I, sh I should have that on here, and why. So that's the main thing is why are you wanting to do that? And then you're going to list the, um, the aspects that we just went over here. So the advantages and disadvantages, okay, or the pros and cons in your explaining why you are choosing that, that, that um, type of business. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this slide and the other slides in, you know, the description, the pros and cons slides into the breakout rooms, and then I'm going to open the slides and you can click. Hopefully everyone knows these buttons up here. Those are the ones you can click, the forward and back buttons. Um, when I open up the slides, you can click through those to look at the other slides, okay, and, and figure out your answer. Now remember to drag your name to save time. Here we go. If you have any questions, put it in the chat, and I will try to get to that in a moment. Okay, here we go.
All right, so you guys can start working on your exit ticket here. Drag your name and then write one idea from the breakout room activity that you got from hopefully from someone else um, in discussion. I heard some people talking in there. That was so awesome. And um, yeah, I just want to say, so what, I, what I'm doing um, with these breakout room activities is I'm saving the slides. And then I will be going through those to um, as part of your participation grade. So um, there's presenting in class, there's reading in class, there's using the video and reading in class, and then the breakout room uh, activities that you fill in by writing. So um, that is important. I do keep track of that. Make sure you're doing that. Um, sometimes people aren't doing that activity, and I try to get them into the inactive room, but um, just make sure you know it's 50 points per quarter for participation and so um, in live sessions. So keep up the, the good work, those of you who are, and um, thank you for participating today. Um, please fill in your exit ticket before you leave. Just grab a box, any box, drag your name into it, and um, one idea you got, and then you can take off. If you need help with anything, I'm here. And you can um, put your question or need into the chat. Have a great rest of your day. And we'll see you in class tomorrow. OK. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, I, I didn't click the thingy. Okay, there it is. There's the exit ticket. Sorry. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you, Dustin. Thank you, Dallas. <laughs> See, I couldn't do this without you. I need your help. Yes, yes. Sorry. <laughs> There's a lot of clicks required. I forget sometimes. Okay, good work. Keep going there. All right. I should have some music for this. Yeah, you can always jump on the mic if it's open and say, Mr. Bourget, we can't see the exit ticket or whatever. Thank you. Remember to watch the rest of that video that I showed at the beginning.